Here's the thing. If you're considering traveling, I want to talk to you about why you should do it. I just read this study about how people uh, specifically in the USA say they're going to do something later and then never do it. Save up money and then never spend it. I was quite alarmed by that. Um, and it made me think about jumping into the unknown. So listen, I don't know if I've ever shared this, but I changed my whole life after the first trip I took to Nepal, Bali, and India for almost three months. And I had no idea. I'd never been to Asia. I'd never been to Bali. I was going to visit my son Wolf in Kathmandu. He was volunteer teaching there. And the thing I want to share with you is that leap. I had a very successful, reliable income from uh, photography in the center of Silicon Valley. This is when I took this trip. And I kind of worried, are people going to forget about me when I leave for two and a half months? Well, it's quite the opposite. People were quite interested in what I had done when I got back. And I wished I had taken longer. Um, so the thing is, you don't know what's on the other side of your leap into the unknown, but that's the point. Um, and it's not so much about, oh, solo travel, blah, blah. The thing is, you go because you want to. You don't have to wait for someone to break up with their boyfriend or wait for other people's indecision. Now, I love traveling with my family. It's fun. Um, you know, when they can do it, when we both can do it, it's fun. And I love whether you come with me to Italy or not to do the photography workshop, which is a total blast. And there's video testimony on my website. Check it out. Um, in January, we'll be going to the Amalfi Coast and to Rome, and it's half booked up. So please join us if you would like to. But whether or not you come with me or not, consider what you would really like to do by way of changing your dimension and going in a new direction. Because it's not just the travel. It just shakes up everything in your whole life. Um, it gives you a different perspective. You meet different people. I now have friends around the world. And the first ones that come to mind are Anna and Giulio in Florence. I met you guys at a meetup in Florence. I almost didn't go that night. I was too tired. <laughs> and thank God I did because it was so fun meeting you two. And they, you speak perfect English, thank God, because I'm still crucifying Italian. But I am learning. So, the point I want to make is, yes, it's the unknown to go traveling. And that's part of the fun that you want to experience by not knowing every logical step. Because things do go wrong. Things change. Uh, but then it's always for a reason. It's like you were supposed to meet that person. It was the thing that you wanted to do didn't turn out to be so great. But this other thing was even better. And you discovered a brand new town in the mountains in Burma. Actually did happen. That I'd never heard about with an incredible botanical garden. So, and I was the only one there for at least two hours in the morning <laughs> before anyone showed up. So, miraculous things happen. Okay, like right now, I'm waiting for, there was a noise in my van a couple of days ago. It didn't sound good, it sounded kind of scary. And I'm on this um, big trip up the coast of Big Sur, which I haven't done in a thousand years. I'm very excited to do it. Well, right before all the twisty stuff on the road, it got worse, the sound. So I looked up the best auto mechanic in Santa Maria and he diagnosed the problem. Thank you, Pat. I need new brakes, but they couldn't come until tomorrow. So I've been enjoying this town of Santa Maria. There's 100,000 people, but it really feels like there's more like 
10,000 people or even 30,000 people because it's maybe everybody left but there's lots of parks everything you need facility wise an amazing library I've been working at closed today eh. uh, Planet Fitness is here so I can go to the gym it's a nice little town not much traffic at all that's a new change for me from LA so uh, lots of dog walk. What a cute dog! <laughs> that little doggy. Uh, lots of dog walkers. So nice people. Good coffee. Relaxing. This is in the central coast of California. So as soon as I get my breaks finished tomorrow, I'm gonna head up the Big Sur coastline, and it is something that everybody should see in their lives cliffs 1200 foot cliffs dropping down to crashing waves incredible incredible one of the most remarkable places i've ever been in my life so what are you thinking of doing in your travel life are you thinking of getting on a plane taking a train going on a boat um volunteering let me know what you're thinking and thank you for all the likes subscribes and shares because it lets people know about my channel and appreciate you being here so i'll see you in the next video you want to change your life check out these other videos have fun